Shalom, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast this evening here, friends. Uh, we are getting in that mode of heading to the United States there. So it's been pretty hectic here the last couple of days. and uh, But we do have our eyes on a couple of stories there that we've been watching very closely for you. Uh, and one, of course, is the Temple Mount access. Uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu, has conceded to the Palestinian Authority and has allowed the removal of the metal detectors. I consider this a concession on the Israeli government's part there because it's doing no good for none of the three religions, neither the, the Jews, Muslims, or Christians, and their safety there on the Temple Mount by taking away the x-ray machines. That's only a caving into the demand of the Palestinian Authority. And on top of that, Mahmoud Abbas is not lifting the freeze on relations. This lets you know that there's more to it than just the, than what meets the eye. There is an agenda, an agenda, no doubt, that's part of a new world order and a one world government that is going to give the Vatican autonomy over the old city of Jerusalem that would be governed under an international law by a UN mandate there with the Vatican given the chief, uh, well, I guess, chief custodian of the old city. Uh, that's something that we know that uh, the late Shimon Perez had worked out with the Vatican back in 1993, the, the covenant that was signed with Israel and the Vatican as they begin to build their relationships. And we have seen that covenant coming more and more into effect here recently. Also in other news, General Dunford has actually made some comments that are so profound, it could you cannot help but look back and sit there and, and really begin to consider the prophetic implications of Daniel 11:44, tidings out of the east and out of the north trouble him, and he goes to make away many or take away many, as we see in some of the modern translations, the King James Version Bible. There, that's the king of the north troubled by some tidings out of the east and the north, which is China and Russia. Could that be over North Korea? Well, according to General Dunford, if we end up in a war with North Korea. It would be on a catastrophic level. He said the loss of life would be horrific and it would be unprecedented to anything that has ever been seen in any modern war to date. As the Bible prophecy said, tidings out of the east and out of the north trouble him. That's the king of the north. And he goes to take away many just going on a rampage to kill. Could we be seeing North Korea as a catalyst for bringing this prophecy to pass? Very interesting, General Dunford's very remarks there. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Don't forget, we'll be at the conference in Duluth, Georgia, August 5th and 6th. Check out the website. You can get your tickets there. Global versus, that's VS versus flatearth.com. There's still a handful of tickets still available. We'd like to see you there. Going to be an awesome conference. Just incredible speakers there. I know you'll be blessed by it. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Check out our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Definitely stand with us. Support the work that we do here at Israeli News Live. It's your contributions that will make these things possible that we'll be bringing out to you, especially once we get back in the saddle. As soon as we get on the state side of the United States, we'll get our, our studio set back up again and get you up to date on all the latest news there and also be touching base with you on our quick takes. Shalom.